Hey everyone, my name is Natalie from This and Nat or All of This and Nat over on Instagram. I live just outside of Dallas, Texas with my husband and our sweet dog Toaster. Today I'm going to share with you a first, my first time cleaning a shower. Yes, for real. My mom taught me a lot about cleaning, but this is one of those things that I have never done before. Now, there are going to be some very satisfying moments along the way and a lot of learning experiences too. I'm open to all of your tips and tricks for the best way to clean showers. Hey you guys, I have been on a major bathroom cleaning kick today. I have been doing so much cleaning, but I have a confession to make. I have never cleaned a shower, like ever. We moved into this house in October, no, November of 2018. So we've been living here for over a year and I've never cleaned this shower. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I've actually never cleaned a shower ever. I lived in a place in an apartment for three years and I got by because I would use a squeegee every single time I took a shower. And I also never ever let hair build up in the drain. And honestly, I felt like, hey, I'm cleaning it every time I shower, which I know is probably so disgusting to some of you, but everyone has that area in their life. So hopefully that makes you feel better if there's something you've been neglecting. No time like the present, let's get it done. So I'm gonna be cleaning today with this. Lysol bathroom cleaner. Um, usually I don't like to use things that are super harsh, but recently I got inherited a ton of cleaning um, supplies from my mother-in-law because she was moving. And so I'm trying to use them all up, um, especially this one because it's not doing a very good job spraying. Instead of like spritzing, it's just kind of like sloshing foam. So I feel like it'll be really good and tough to cut all this stuff out in the shower. So let me show you what we got going on here before we get cleaning. Looking back at this now that we've had a clean shower for a while, I am utterly horrified. I can't believe I'm actually showing this to you because it's so nasty, but I hope it makes you feel better that you're not alone. There is always going to be someone out there that has that area of the house they just ignore. And you know what? Today is the day. Let's get it clean. Let's tackle it. It doesn't even take as long as you think it's going to. I decided to bring out the rubber gloves for this tough job. I'm usually pretty lenient when it comes to wearing gloves with gentler cleaners, but with this chemical Lysol spray, I didn't want to take any chances. I'm also using a tool crochet scrubby like the ones that I use for my dishes, but don't worry, this one won't go back in the kitchen. And lastly, I'm using microfiber cloths. If you've got an area of your bathroom that you've been ignoring, grab those gloves, get some spray, and clean with me. It's amazing what you can get done in just a few minutes. Once everything was out of the way, I made my plan of attack. I got the toughest stains soaking first, and then I sprayed the larger areas that just needed a good wipe down. I mean, I know it's been a minute, but how gross is this? I had to make sure to stop every so often just to rinse off all of the gunk. What products do you like to use to clean your showers? How often do you clean them? 
Since this video, I've been aiming for every other week to give the shower a wipe down and once a month for a good clean. I feel like maintenance takes less time than overhaul when it comes to soap buildup. Now remember that red ring you saw just moments ago? Wait until you see it after the Lysol has broken it down. You are going to be amazed. I think my face really says it all, does it not? What is the one area of your bathroom or house that you tend to wait on to clean? Why do you think you do it? I feel like whenever I finally get to that thing that I was putting off, it never takes as long as I've built up in my head. Plus, it always feels so good once it's complete. I was actually excited to take a shower after this clean. I was just so shocked at how dirty we had let it get and amazed at how clean it could really be. Every day this stain would practically taunt me in the shower. I am so happy to have tackled it. And to prevent it from happening again, we now use a silicone sponge to set our soap on. I can rinse any of the soap off of the sponge while I'm in the shower, and the bristles allow air to flow underneath it so that moisture doesn't get trapped. It's a little unconventional, but it totally works. While the ring soaked a second time, I got ready to go over the shower again, this time with a little bit of water to rinse things down. started without you but time number two it's really coming off I think that it helps to have this that I can scrub with but oh my gosh it looks so much better I poured out the dirty, soapy water to get some fresh, clean water for a final wipe down. For this, I used a clean, damp microfiber cloth. Now, you might be wondering, why didn't you just bring a bowl of clean water into the shower with you? Or better yet, turn on the shower head so that you didn't have to keep going to the sink for clean water. I am really not sure, and that is only occurring to me watching it back now. You might be wondering what I do with all the cloths and sponges after I'm done. I took these right down to the washing machine and washed them on hot and then steam sanitized them. I'm really excited because I just got new microfiber cloths in three different colors, so I'll be able to easily distinguish between ones for the bathroom and ones for other areas of the house. I'm finishing up the inside of the shower with the floor. 
but as much as I scrubbed, I felt like I really couldn't get this looking clean. Do you guys have any tips for cleaning this sort of builder's grade shower flooring? Let me know in the comments. On the outside of the shower, I just did a quick scrub with a little solution and microfiber cloths. It didn't really seem to need much soaking or scrubbing. And finally, after rinsing the floor with water, I tried to dry the shower without stepping inside. And that is a challenge unto itself. <sighs> I am like legit exhausted from that. It kind of made me feel like a little bit faint. So I need to get some fresh air here in a second, but um, it's not perfect, but it is so, so, so much better. I really need to be doing this like maybe monthly for me would be realistic. You may do it more often. Let me know how many times you clean your showers slash bathtubs in a time period because I gotta, I gotta start somewhere. So I think monthly might be for me, but honestly, while it's not perfect and every little thing is not gone, that huge disgusting red ring is gone. Um, it is so much cleaner. The glass looks cleaner. Um, there's a few streaks, but I'm not gonna let that bother me right now. I really wanna get the white, the tray on the bottom of the um, shower cleaner. And so I'm thinking maybe I'll try like a magic eraser, but that is for another day. I'm gonna call it a job well done for today. Thank you guys so much for watching my very first shower clean. I'm curious, what other areas would you like to see me clean? The kitchen, the closets, let me know down below. Now coming up on Friday, I have a great little 10 minute one cabinet kitchen organization coming for you. It's perfect for a quick burst of cleaning to lead you into the weekend. I'll see you again soon.